Marcus Tillman, um, a student at Georgia College and State University, over using compare to method to compare strings. The ability to compare different strings is possible um, through the string class. There are many methods in the string class, and this um, presentation is going to go over using compare to um, to uh, compare any strings, two strings. The compare to method is used to determine whether one string is greater than, equal to, or less than another string. This method returns an integer. In the example we see here, um, the format is um, string one dot compare to string two. So you have your string and then you dot and the method name compare to, and in parentheses you include the um, or pass the other string. That um, call is going to return an integer value. Here are a couple of examples. You can say, say you have string um, name one and name two. You can say name one dot compare to name two. Store that result in an integer um, variable name result. Or you can say name one dot compare to and actually pass a string literal. So let's see what's returned. When string one is less than string two, the value returned is negative. Less than here means um, occurs first in alphabetical order. For example, we have a string apple, string one is apple, and string two is bear. String one dot compare to string two gives us a negative value. So results here in this instance would be negative one. When string one is greater than string two, the value return is a positive number. Say string one is canon, starting with a C, and string two is apple. When string one dot compare to string two, the result there is a positive number. In this instance, it's two. Now, if they're the same, if string one is apple and string two is apple, calling the compare to method will result in zero. So they're equal. When they're equal, the result that was returned is zero. Let's see what's going on behind the scenes. Internally, characters are represented by numbers. Java uses, uses Unicode to represent characters. Each character is assigned a different Unicode number. For example, the character A has the number 65, character B is 66, lowercase a is 97, lowercase b is 98. So with compare to, compare to examines strings character by character until different characters are found. The value returned is the difference between the Unicode numeric code for the characters. Okay, so let's see an example. String 1 has Aaron and string 2 has Abel. String 1 dot compare to. String 2, what goes on first? They compare both of the A's, the first A's of both strings. They're the same, so they move on to the next character. We look at A, now compare it to B, where they're different. You take the 97 value for A minus 98 um, gives us a negative 1. So that means Aaron comes before um, Abel, and that value is a negative number. So result is a negative number, meaning string 1 occurs before string 2. If all the characters are the same, but one string is shorter than the other, it returns the difference in the length of the strings. So string one is high and string two is highest. So string one dot compare to string two gives us negative five. Two minus seven, seven characters in highest, gives us a negative five. Often you don't um, store the result in a variable. You just compare the variable that's uh, the value that's returned to zero. So if it's less than zero, you know that string one is less than string two. If it's greater than zero, then you know string one is greater than string two or recurs or was alphabetical order after string two. And if it returns zero, you know that there's no differences, they are considered the same.
So string one dot compare to string two. That's the way we call it. String one is a string that calls the compare to method. When string one is less than string two, the value return is negative. When string one is greater than string two, the value return is positive. And when string one is the same as string two, the value returned is zero.